Hello and welcome back to another video and in this lesson we're going to create a YouTube banner using Canva. A YouTube banner is very important for a YouTube channel because whenever we go to someone's YouTube channel we get to see the banner, okay? So for instance if we go to this channel which is a very popular channel you can see here that they have this banner here, which is probably for the desktop view. Okay, so this is one kind of marketing that they're using with the banners. And basically, you can call it a cover photo as well. And if we go to Google and search for YouTube banners, You can see here there are a lot of YouTube banners on Google as well and these are all just examples or they can be like from different users as well. Now we might also get to see these banners in Canva as well as using templates, you know, these templates that you can use. So these are like all different types of banners that show on YouTube as the cover photo. All of these are like banners this one as well so basically every channel has their own banner either they make it or they just hire people to make these banners for themselves but now if you want to make it yourself you can easily do it using Canva because Canva functions as a free graphics designing platform as well so using Canva we're going to create a YouTube banner okay now you can use Canva the pro version to make it so you can have unlimited and the best templates to work on but if you're using the free version that's not a problem because I'm going to show you how to use the free version and how you can design it all right now if we go to this part here you can see here this is the search bar we can search here for YouTube banner okay you can just type in YouTube banner and they'll give you some suggestions here youtube banner youtube channel banner okay let's select the youtube channel banner now you can see here these are all the youtube channel banners that are usable okay now if you take a look at some of these that has this pro icon written here and the crown icon here these are the pro versions so you have to upgrade to the pro version of canva to access these templates and use them and some of them also have this paid icon here okay so it's the dollar sign and the paid icon that is given and if we go inside this if we select this one now you can see here when I move my cursor to the paid icon it says this template contains paid elements which means this this template is like not totally free so there are some elements to it that you gotta pay for okay and the pro version is also these uh, these are the ones that you have to pay for or else you cannot use them and most of them are free here okay you can see here these these which are just floating here these are all like free templates that you can use already right now okay so we're going to select one of these templates and it's going to be like a bit wide you know now what type of template we're going to choose is going to depend on our niche that we're going to create in our YouTube channel. Now we just need to choose any one of these templates, okay? So let's take a look at which type of templates that we're going to use right now. So we're going to select one of these templates. Let's go with a simple tech tech based template we're gonna take here. So we're gonna use this one, okay? So just click on customize on this template and it will take you to another tab in which you can start editing okay now you can see here all of these are set and we can actually change every single aspect of this template even the logos and so we're going to just select this one and delete this one because we're not going to need it we might need this one so no we're, we're going to change it so i'm just going to delete all of these so i'm going to keep this one okay and we're just going to name this tech review 
simple. And let's select this text and we're going to change the font to a more pig based font. Well, you can see here these, uh, the ones that are these crown icons in front of these fonts. Beside these fonts, these are all like pro version, you can't use them unless you upgrade to pro. So I'm just going to use this one. Or uh, maybe not that one. Let's use this one. Horizon. All right. Okay, this one is much better. So we're going to keep this one and we're going to write something else here. We're going to. So we're going to type in check reviews every Friday. So the description is check reviews every Friday. All right. And now we're going to cut up this one. All right. So this is the interface and we're going to let's we're going to change the background should stay like that. We're going to change the picture here. And you can see there's another thing here. So we're going to just, this is only for the shading of the photo. Basically, you can see here, it's only for the shading of the photo. So no problem. We can, we can change the color of this one. No problem. So we're just going to Let's delete this one, the picture. Delete image and we're gonna go to our uploads and we're gonna choose a picture for ourselves, okay? So we have a few pictures here, so we can select this one. And we're gonna take it and put it right here. So it's a bit small, so we're just going to expand it. To just fit it there and it's when it's fit we can just there you go so now we're going to keep i've decided we're going to keep the background image but we're going to do something here else here okay we're going to do something else here if we keep it like this sorry about that so let's duplicate this one and we're gonna make this bigger and place it right here a bit bigger yes we're gonna place it right here this one is displaced okay and now we're going to set this, the position of this, to like, okay, to the backwards. And then we're going to select this one and we're going to change the transparency. First this one and then we're going to change the transparency. Okay. Increase this one as well. All right. So now the design has changed. We changed the design and it's a bit more official design we got here. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to provide some icons for this template right now. Let me increase the size a bit more here. Okay. Okay, now it's done. Now we're going to create some icons and for that we're going to go to the elements. 
So these are basically all icons we can get. So we're going to search for icons like subscribe. Subscribe button. And you can see there are a lot of subscribe button here, okay? So there's one that's animated here, a Jiffy type, and there are some that are like pro, okay? Now we can't use the pro versions, but we can use the free ones that are available for use, okay? So I'm just gonna take this one, which is a bit slicky, and I'm gonna tone it down a bit. And there you go. And we're gonna just place this right up here. Okay. Or well, maybe down here. Well, let's just place it right up here. And we're also going to add this bell icon. We're gonna place, place this here, alright? Okay, just for a bit show, okay? And I know it's animated, we're just gonna change it to PNG later. We're not gonna take the Jiffy file, okay? Alright, after we've done that, we're going to take... We're gonna create some icons which are like Facebook or social media icons like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So let's go to the elements again. So let's go to the search button and we're going to click, we're going to type in Facebook icon or logo or whatever you want to search for. So these are the Facebook icons. So I'm just gonna, not gonna use all any of them I'm just going to use the first one which is which goes to like goes with the color of my of my banner right so we're gonna choose between these two let's choose this one first how it looks and we're gonna compare this to this one so we're gonna compare these two icons and I'm gonna guess this one looks a bit uh, not recognizable, so we're gonna keep with this one, okay? This one's a bit more darker, so I'm just gonna keep this one here, right over here, and we're gonna tone it down to this size, and yeah, it looks kind of good because it's fading away, kind of, and now we're going to use the Instagram icon. Let's get the Instagram icon. Insta. There it is. So we're going to choose one from here as well. So we're going to choose between these two again. Take this one. And put it here. And we're going to also take this one. So the second one, it matches with the Facebook icon, okay? So it's only relevant to get the second one. But we're not going to use the second one, okay? Because it, it doesn't look like an Instagram icon. The first one, it actually does look like an icon. Instagram icon. So now we're going to compare this Instagram logo to the Facebook logo. So if I put it beside the Facebook logo. So it goes somewhat, but we can make it better. But the Instagram logo is... Yeah, it's fine. We can use the Instagram logo. Okay. Now it's set. Now we're going to get a Twitter logo. Let's go to this side and type in Twitter. Twitter logo. And yes, we're going to take the third one because it goes with our background here. So I'm just going to take this one and move it here. And you can see that it's a bit different from the other icons, right? So we can just search for more for the logos that might look like the other ones so we have one here but this is like the pro version we can't use this one this is the one that we chose here so we can't use that one either so it seems that 
we don't have that much like that logo here so we can actually edit so we're gonna try to edit this image or we should go here and we're gonna click on that and we're gonna change the colors and see okay this one matches all right so once we change the color of the Twitter it actually matches with the other ones right yes so we have the Twitter icon here and we're going to adjust it just like that all right so we once we've adjusted the size you see here Facebook Instagram and Twitter so if we want to add something else like let's add a TikTok logo as well so type in TikTok icon okay there are a lot of TikTok icons and we're gonna find one that suits with these background so ones that we could fit with the background are not free so we cannot use those icons so we have to do something with these instead okay so I'm gonna take this one and let's see if we can do anything with this so it already has the black icon color only the logo is a bit flashy but that's not gonna be a problem okay so we can actually adjust it as this one and we're going to adjust the Facebook icon as well okay now it's adjusted so we're gonna take a look at the Instagram icon again and let's see if we can use any other icon from Instagram Instagram icon so we selected this one the first one so we're gonna try out this one So let's compare this one to this one. So the one we chose right now is much more, it goes with the other icons, right? So we're gonna keep this one and we're gonna delete the other one. Let's select this one and then delete it. And we're going to create some space between the icons so that it doesn't look jam packed. And space place it perfectly aligned with each other okay so now it's aligned now we can also add other icons if you want i think the facebook icon is a bit smaller than the other ones okay now it's perfect in every every icon is perfect so maybe we should keep it a bit up here all right right here Okay, now it's perfectly aligned and spaced, so people will visit it, visit your channel, and they will look at your banner and see these icons right here, alright? So, now we have our icons here, so we're going to add a few more icons, so in order to do that, we're going to shift these here, like this, and then this one here. We're going to align them later, but now we're going to add some more icons, okay? So, I'm going to shift it way more here, and then this one here. Alright, and now we're going to add some more icons, so I'm going to add a WhatsApp icon. WhatsApp icon. Okay, so you can see here the WhatsApp icon is... The one that we want, would like, that w the one that will go with this background is not available or it's not free, okay? I mean, we have that type of icon right here, but it's not free, so we cannot use that one. Uh, the WhatsApp icon is basically there, all of them are not that free. We can use this one, and if we try to change the colors, we can try to do that. So there are no WhatsApp icons that are like free. So if we just take this one and change the color like black or turn it white, fully white, ash, black, 
Let's turn it white, okay? I'm just gonna take this and paste, post it right here. And now we're gonna take the telegram icon. So we're going to delete the WhatsApp icon only because it doesn't go with the background. So we're just going to delete that. And we're gonna go for another one which is telegram icon. Now if we had the pro version of Canva, we could have added the WhatsApp icon because there are a lot of them that can be used. Now we have the telegram icon here and there are like three three variants or four variants that we can actually use. So first let's use this one. And you can see that this one is it does go with the background, but we can we have options as well. Now this one is much more like the other ones, right? And it goes perfectly with the background. So we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna place it at the end right here. We're going to resize it and we're going to resize it a bit more. And we're going to align it. Now let's align every single icon. Going to align it like this. Okay. Then the Facebook. All right. Okay. Now it's every single icon is perfectly aligned. You can see here. So. The icons can be a bit better. All right, now it's perfectly aligned. Now you can see that how I added the icons, right? Now I want to do, what I want to do here is I want to add a like button. To add a like button, I just going, going to go back to the elements and into the search button. And I'm going to search for like, YouTube like, like button. Let's see if we get any like button or not. If there is any like button available on Canva. So there's this Facebook like here and yes, there is a like button. And we can actually post this, and this is actually from Facebook. And we cannot find any YouTube like button. So, the ones that can be used are not free. So it's best if we don't use a like button, or we can just we can just replace this subscribe button. Subscribe button. And search for any subscribe button that has the like button intact in it. We got one, but this one is the pro version, so we cannot use that one. So you can search a lot like this, okay? If you have the pro version, it's good for you. You can actually use the pro version to use it like this, all right? Now, since we didn't find any, we're just gonna keep it like this. And we already have the bell icon right here. And we're gonna work on these texts a bit, okay? So I'm just going to take this, it's gonna stay right here. And I'm going to select the whole tech review button. And I'm going to change the color of this text, okay? So, once I do that, you can see here, the text color is changed. But it's not to our liking, so we're going to change it more, okay? So, let's see if we can change it to something better, other than white. Now, if we, we're going to try to keep it in the dark texture. If we use the black one, 
the black one goes very nicely, the pure black one. But it's still a bit, it looks a bit bland. So we're gonna go with this one or this one. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. And about this text, we're going to, let's say, first we're going to choose the text, the text box in particular. And then we're going to change the color and to Let's change the font first, okay? Let's take it to this one. Alright. Okay, this one looks good. Now let's change the size and now the color. Okay, so we can see that a lot of colors that they don't go with this text and mainly because the font is different, so we're going to change the font again. Let's change the font of this text again. And we're going to give it a bit bolder bolder attire like this one okay let's try out this one okay and we're gonna take this and all right now let's select it and we're gonna change the color Okay, the black one goes perfectly, okay? Now, it says tech reviews every Friday. Alright, now it's perfect. Now, since we didn't get the like button, we're gonna keep it just like that. We're gonna cut all of these. Also, we're gonna just go to design here, okay. Now, our, our banner is complete right now. We don't have much to do anymore. So, now we're going to save and download, okay? Now, I'm going to download it this in two ways. One of them is going to be a Jiffy download, and the other is going to be a PNG file, okay? So, to download it, I'm just going to go share, go down, and here's the download button. And it says here Jiffy, because previously I downloaded a Jiffy one. That's why it's suggested here Jiffy. Also, it has a effect here, graphics effect. That's why it's saying Jiffy, okay? So, I'm just going to click on download. Now, again, I'm going to say it. Because if you're a beginner graphics designer, you can surely use Canva for this purposes. Because for beginners graphics designing, this is the perfect platform for you guys. It's very easy to use and you don't have to go through a lot of trouble. Also, you can take the pro version as well. The pro version is perfect if you're like working for a company or a business and you're working uh, for them, then you might need the pro version, which is very good. But if you're just working as a freedom freelancer, you can use the free version, no problem as well. So the Jiffy is getting ready to get downloaded. You can see here, and we're going to wait for that time. And if it was a PNG or JPG file, it would have been uh, finished much earlier. So because of the Jiffy, it's preparing the download. After that, it's going to be downloaded. So now it's ready to get downloaded. It's ask, it's going to ask me. So black, black Modern Vlogger YouTube Banner. Okay, save. Now we're going to view it. Now this is a Jiffy file, okay? 
Now, since this is a Jiffy file, you can see here that the bell icon, it's, it's, it's doing what it's going to do, it's supposed to do, and it's doing, it's doing the animation right here. And now we're going to, now we're going to download a JPG, or not a JPG file, we're going to download a PNG file. So we're going to go back to share and download. And here we're going to select the format as PNG. All right. Okay, so now I'm just going to press on download. Now you can see the PNG file just downloaded instantly because this takes mm, less time. And this is just a picture. So I'm just going to change the name to 2. All right. Now that it's done, we can view it. Now you can see here, this is the G this is the normal PNG file. And with the PNG file, you can use it in any anywhere. It fixes its resolution instantly, right? The PNG files. So that is the. So that's how you're gonna make a YouTube banner using Canva. It's pretty easy. You can see, I made it like. If you're a professional, you can make it in like half an hour time. So I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in the next lesson.